Ian Deacon joins me after today's 2-1 loss on the road against Workington. First of all, must be disappointing that. Hugely disappointed. Um, it's not very often I'll say this, but to, to dominate a game like that with the amount of chances we had, we had a moment of, or well, two minutes of madness. Um, carbon copy goals, um, lacks of concentration. Um, they, they, they've actually played all right today. Um, so it's hugely frustrating, disappointing. Um, sometimes when you... When that happens, it just happens all in one go. We had it last week at Coles Hill, and I'm not going to turn on the players. I'm not going to sit here and say we're not good enough because we are. It's evident we are, and you know how we've not won that game, I'll never know. Um, I think those of there watching it would, would agree. Uh, but we've got to be defensively more solid. They've had two long balls over the top, had three shots in total all game, and scored two goals. We've had 15 shots in total. Um, some on target, off the line, cleared off the. You know, it's just, it's just not rub of the green at the minute for us and that's not defending the players because the goals are unacceptable but we have to be better defensively and be more ruthless in both boxes and you do that you win the game quite comfortably um, but we haven't today um, so you know that's not a disrespect to them you know they've, they've kept in the game they've battled um, but I thought we was a better side today and, and I've come away feeling hugely disappointed and, I, and the players are in there as well. So when when you travel so far create so many chances and, and personally I think control the game for large parts of it does it almost make it that little bit harder to take when a four hour journey back without any points does it make it harder to, to take in really yeah it means sweet FA really to be honest with you we haven't won the game um, you can play as well as you want um, but if you don't get three points on the board after dominating like you do um, it, it, it's it's bitterly disappointing it's even harder I think to take um, you know, even if we come away with a draw today I'd still be disappointed because we, we've done more than enough creating enough chances but ultimately we didn't defend properly for two minutes Lapses of concentration, meditation again from the, from the back line of communication, and that's got to get better. Um, it's something that, you know, Tuesday night, total polar opposite. Um, we, we argue with a, with a bit more of a patched up side on Tuesday night, and players are playing out of position. Again, we create enough chances that evening to score five or six, seven goals. We've done the same again today, but we've lost 2 1. Um, and it's football sometimes. Um, you know, I can't be, I'm angry, but I can't be angry the way they're playing. They create chances, they're looking at the good side, they've got to be much more ruthless in both boxes, and, and that's the thing that ultimately wins your games of football or doesn't. So, with no game midweek, it's two home games back to back Saturday against Geisley and then the Tuesday against Hyde. How do you prepare for that with so much travelling this week and then training again, well, training on Thursday in between that? How do you prepare, prepare for two games like that? We continue to work hard, we trust the process, we trust each other. You know, um, don't get me wrong. There's been some choice words in there after that game. Um, not aimed at individuals, but aimed as a collective, as a ruthlessness and a, and a, and a desire to go and put teams to the sword. And you know, I said it to them in training on Thursday. Someone's going to be ending up a big defeat soon, but we can't keep saying that. We've got to go and do it. And you know, we are a good side. We are strong in this league, but we can't keep losing games of football by not being ruthless enough. So we'll work on. We'll work hard in training. That's the only way you can do it. Um, keep trusting what you're doing. Keep trusting the players that you've got. I do believe we've got a good squad and a good team. If we're missing players again, it's not an excuse. The team, obviously, evidently today, was good enough to go and win that game. And I think it's just those concentration things we've got to get better at. Um, so we'll work hard in training this week and prepare for the on Saturday.